sorry. I know I broke your rules. I shouldn't be here. This is your night no, with the no, boys. It's fine. And... They're already asleep. No, it's, it's not okay. I, you've been very clear with how you feel, and I'm not being fair. It's just... It's just that I've never needed you more than I do right now. I mean, I've seen Nicholas angry before, but not like this. Not with me. I mean, he's so cold and resolved. Like, he doesn't care about me, only the baby. No, I think entitled is the word you're looking for. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm just the baby incubator, and I don't know what to do about it. Elizabeth, look, I'm, I'm sorry that this is stressing you out, but I'm not going to get involved, you know? I mean, Nicholas is the father of your baby, and it's up to you guys to work this out. Are you saying you wouldn't care if the boys and I moved to Windermere? Look, up. you and Nicholas decide that you and the boys moving into Windermere is what's best. I'm not gonna fight it. You're kidding, right? I, mean, I would never consider moving to Windermere. Well, it's your choice. Look, when Cam and Jake are with me, I have no problem making the decisions, but when they're with you, I'm gonna stay out of it. I just want what's best for the boys, so I'll support whatever you decide to do. Even if we move to Windermere? Nah, it's a, it's a short boat ride. I can make it work. That's what you decide. Hi, Lucky. Claire, hey. There's uh, something important we need to discuss. Do you have a minute? Sure, yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, we just sorry. need to keep our voices down as the kids are asleep. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to intrude, and I apologize about that <laughs> meltdown in the park. I can promise you that doesn't ha happen very often. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I'm a professional, and uh, that was a very uncharacteristic lapse. Totally unlike me. I don't see a problem with a professional woman who wants to be a mother as well. I think it's great, actually. Oh, Sit down. Well, thank you. Um, well, I really appreciate your understanding, and I yeah. assure you that subject will never come up again. Okay. So, uh, what can I do for you? Well, I decided to put the pressure on Sonny. I want to build another case against him, one that will stick this time. Sounds ambitious. Well, I do ambitious really well. I've already spoken to Commissioner Scorpio about my intentions, and I asked him to give me a list of officers who know the ins and outs of Sonny's operation, and your name was first on the list. So you, you want me to help you? Well, if you're willing to work with me after seeing me at my babbling and neurotic worst. looked over the casework you've done involving Sonny and Jason, mm -hmm. and there's something I have to ask. All okay. right. Well, on several investigations, you did the preliminary casework, but you pulled yourself off the case and cited a conflict of interest. Can I ask what that conflict of interest was? Uh, it's not something that I'm, I'm real comfortable disclosing. It's kind of personal. Okay. Uh, I respect your privacy, but honestly, after the debacle I went through in court, because <laughs> crucial information was withheld, I can't just leave it at that. So, would you be able to tell me if this conflict, whatever it is, will it stop you from going after Sonny? No. It won't. I'm more than willing to do my job by the book. But I have to tell you, if lines are going to get crossed and busting Sonny becomes some sort of obsessive uh, personal vendetta for you, I don't want any part of it. You know, Sonny... It's not a vendetta, okay? And if by obsessive you mean I'm channeling my frustrations about not being a mother and, and whoa, 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 I'm into my work, hey, then hey, I... That's not, that, that's not what I was saying. I, I was just talking about Sonny. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm just not. It's, 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 it's fine. By obsessive, I just meant that I've seen people, you know, like good law enforcement people who have completely lost themselves trying to convict Sonny. I mean, you're not just dealing with a, a well-run organization and great attorneys. There's like this force field around the guy. And nobody's been able to penetrate it, and everybody wants to be that one hero who finally takes him down. Yeah, I see your point. You know, when people get fixated, they do things that they wouldn't normally do. I mean, we've, we've all been there. And, you know, the lines get crossed. But there's a difference between bending the rules and losing your soul, and that's exactly what has happened to some of the people that have gone after Sonny Corinthos. Well, I assure you, it won't be me. I may be determined and focused. I may have cut a few corners, but I don't break the law. And putting Sonny in prison will be a big win for a lot of people. None more important than a scared kid sitting in a cell right now. And I want your help to make that happen. And I trust that if you see me starting to go Captain Ahab, you'll rein me in. <laughs> so do we have a deal? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All right.